Hey, Naka. What? You still hate Iceman, right? With a passion. Let's go beat him up. Let's do this. Maga, maga, maga. Man. <laughs> Welcome. I was waiting for that to happen. I knew that was still burned into your head. Welcome to Let's Play Mega Man. The Mega original, Man. The original one. The first one. The one what was on the original NES and came before the others. Wow, that was just... Yeah, it was kind of horrible. <laughs> yes. But um, this is the first in the, ver in the line of Mega Man games, the whole franchise. Started with this very game. No and title it, screen, no intro, nothing. Just kind of. It kind of blows. But for various reasons, we'll get into because it's mostly the first game. Anyway, yeah, it's the first game. It took them a little bit of time to narrow down exactly how to do things, how to go about it. It's still fun. Yeah. I mean, I ain't discounting it, but. Level anyway. design could use a little bit of work here and there, but yeah. um, we're starting with your suggestion. You see, Ogre has actually played a great deal of this game. I have played almost none of this game. Like the most you've played of it recently is like the half hour we took to practice just a bit ago. I practiced I practiced the stage that I'm playing today, and that's it. Yep. Also, in the past, I have a grudge against Iceman. That, that's, why I, that's why we started out like that, because you specifically are getting Iceman, and you are going to you are going to ice him. But, um, how we're going to handle this is, I'm mostly following his advice playing through this. I'm going to play through one stage, then I'm going to hand the controller off and let Ogre take a stage, and we'll just alternate back and forth. Until the game is over. With any luck, we can be able to get two stages in per video, but we'll see how that goes. You said Bomb Man first, so Bomb Man it is. Bomb Man actually takes more damage from the Mega Buster, so it's a lot easier to deal with him early on. Oh man, 70,000 points. Uh, up uh, here's, up uh, here's, up here's. Tadpoles here's. everywhere. They're tadpoles. I don't care if they have right names. I just call them tadpoles. Oh, anyway, there's a story into this that's actually the story from the English manual. I have it from the 3DS version, because they kept it on there, and uh, it's hilarious. So watch Naka go through the stage while I hilariously read this. <clears throat> oh my goodness, how did I do that without getting hit? I don't know, but just concentrate more while I do this in my hilarious voice. <clears throat> it's Mega Man versus the powerful leaders and fighting forces of Monsteropolis, a strange, multifaceted land of robot-like humanoids. Not even robot masters, robot-like humanoids. Brilliant scientist, Dr. Wright. Because it took them till three games to call him Dr. Light. Really? They did it in game two, too? I think game. I think up till game two, they had called him Dr. Wright, and then game three was when they finally settled on Dr. Light for us. Brilliant right scientist, Dr. Wright, conceived of the construction of fully operational, human-like experimental robots to perform specific everyday duties. Dr. Wright and his assistant, Dr. Wiley, encouraged with their very first near-human robot, Mega Man, developed, proceeded to develop six additional humanoids, all programmed to perform specific tasks. But, with the exception of Mega Man, all of Dr. Wright's near-human robot experimentations went awry. Dr. Wiley turned disloyal and reprogrammed Dr. Wright's humanoids, tasking them with destroying opposition so that Dr. Wiley could control the world and its resources. Oh heavens, not the opposition. Resisting pre-programming, Mega Man is chosen as the defender of the universe and its inhabitants. Mega Man... <laughs> Mega Man dares to single-handedly penetrate seven separate empires of Monsteropolis, eliminating the leaders and followers of these sovereignties. Get ready for some very exciting challenges. I've been, like, blitzing through this crap, by the way. Yeah, lean into this one and just wait there and just peg him. Hey, guy. Hey, guy. Hey, guy. Hey, guy. It'll take a bit, but you, you, you'll get to him. And, of course, I'll read the boss characters once you start getting to them. Well, I'll read your boss characters, you'll read mine. One up. I shouldn't have come over this far. No, he doesn't respond. He tried to. He tried it to. It didn't work out for him. Oh. Oh, 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 dude. Can I, uh, can I, uh... Not, until, not unless you had the magnet beam somehow. Man. How did you get that to respond? I've never oh, done no, that. I just left the screen and it came back. Yeah, we are playing against Bomb Man as knock us almost to the end here because I had to read through that story, because why not? It was funny. Ah, my face! I don't know, you're doing pretty good. Yeah, I haven't died yet, which is a lot better than last time. Ugh. 
Oh, you just died out of nowhere. I guess it, it does also help that these levels are actually fresh in my memory now. So, um, hooray for actually practicing a little. That practice makes perfect. I've actually managed to get through this game without uh, having to continue once. Yeah, that ain't gonna happen. Yeah, no. We're gonna continue because I can do- Because I'm not good at this. I can do pretty good, but I'm talking and as we- as, as many people have figured out, once you start talking while playing video games, your... Your skill level drops like a rock. <laughs> drops like a Mega Man. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I'm almost there. I got this. Yeah, Yeah, I am I'm going to die. Bomb Man, a real blaster. This heavy-duty laborer used intensively powerful explosions to clear lands for Dr. Wright's construction projects. You're screwed. How did he throw a bomb at me when he was that close? Look at that pose, it's so epic. Man, that guy. Okay, so... Take two, we gotta get, gotta climb down again. Well, that's why they give you multiple lives, so you can do these multiple times. Yep. That's the one thing I've always liked about Mega Man games over other game series, is that you get multiple lives and a life bar. I don't know why, but those combinations make it easier for me to deal with these games. So, like, they're a little forgiving in the short run, there are checkpoints. So, if you do manage to die, you're not gonna get sent back to the beginning of everything, every time. However, if you do run out of lives and you are forced to continue, you get sent back to the beginning of the stage. Yeah. And have with to do your it all default over lives, again. like three yeah. lives. But it's not that big a deal. Also, if you've noticed, I'm pretty sure you have, there's actually there's actually a score system in this game. Like anybody cares. Yeah, the, they took it out for the preceding game, so you had to figure that out. Now for Bomb Man, the strategy is actually to stay close to him because he won't throw his bombs and continue to jump at you. Or jump around from you. So, you know, it's not that hard, but you have to get into the rhythm of everything. Also, I'd like to point out, don't ah, grab- See? My face! Real quick, before you grab this thing, this game actually has it when you kill a boss, the game actually freezes a bit to, I guess, register the whole thing. The problem is, is that you can get Kaizoed on that, and I have had that happen to me. Because if you his if his life was any lower, and he Bomb Man had thrown that bomb at you and hit you with it, like, you saw it coming at me, and I could have jumped out of the way of it. But since it froze, But it froze, it. and I couldn't, but the bomb kept coming and blowing up anyway. And if it had hit you, and you were low enough for it to kill you, you would have automatically died and have to do the whole thing all over again. So... And that thing, later on, they kind of call... I don't remember what they're called, but they're supposed to be, like, the processor chips for the robot masters that you take to acquire their weapons. I thought it was the points that you get for beating them. That, too, but... Uh, that's one of their recanty things. Okay, and now that we are done with Bomb Man, we've, without even the cutaway saying you get the ability or anything, yeah, we're no, you're given just getting points. We get a new ability. Yeah, we yeah. get uh, bomb. Hyper bombs. Yeah, hyper bombs is what they're called. And with that, I'm handing the controller over to Ogre, who gets to play. I get to play who Bomb Man's weapon is strongest to. Guts Man. Oh now, God, of course, man. if you're playing Mega Man Powered Up, you get two more Robot Masters, so they kind of had uh, Time Man and Oil Man, so they kind of had to finagle with their... The Mega Man Powered Up was the re-release of this game, re kind of a remix. It's, it, was a re it. it was a remake of it, kind well, yeah. of, because it added two Robot Masters and added a little more story to it. And then what system was that for? For the PSP. PSP. So right. nobody bought it. Okay. <laughs> Like, a few people bought it, and they showed it on the internet, and everybody else was like, I still don't want a PSP. <laughs> but anyway, I should right, start with Guts Man. Guts Man is one of those stages that's hard for a lot of people right at the beginning, and he's laughing at you right now. He's laughing because at because you. he knows you're going to have a hard time with he's, it right at the beginning. He's like, ah, ah, ah. Did you even have to deal with these things at any point after right here at the beginning? Yes. They show up later in Dr. Wily's stages. Well, I meant in this stage. Oh, in this stage, no. This so is this is it, really? Yep, these are it. These are little platforms. If you've heard this sound before, you know a nightmare is about to happen. Because this one right underneath has a hole in the line, which causes the platform to dip. And if you're on it, when it dips, your you ass fall. goes down. Now, I've actually gotten used to it to I know exactly when I need to jump for them. So hopefully, yeah! Uh, I, I was I was almost scared uh, you were. 
I'm a Mega Man. I'm gonna jump down this pit. I, honestly, I was scared you were going to make, fall down that pit. And these things, I I know they have a name, but I call them pea heads this game because they're fucking annoying. Or as I like to call them, ah, you little shits! Ah, you little shits! See? Yeah. And of course, they have this little thing here. I guess they assume you get hit a lot. These guys, I always like. They're actually called Pickmans. Like picks as in pickaxes, not Pikmin as in the little things you pull out of the ground. But, uh, you don't get a weapon Pull one from of them. these guys up out of the ground. And yes, by the way, uh, the energy pellets and weapon energy pellets are vastly different in this game. Graphically. Graphically, yeah. But, uh, same difference, really. And that's points, which yeah. enemies drop. Those are called bonus balls. Because like nobody them. gives a crap about points, give me health. <laughs> That was one of the challenges for Mega Man, is that these, the way they programmed it, the bonus balls jumped down, uh, dropped down more than the health did. So... Gotta lean into that, because this game... Spikes still kill you instantly, but just for this game, if you get hit and you land on spikes, you still die! There, there are, are no there are... invincibility frames whatsoever. Oh, oh see, I didn't I make it, it that time. See, I I did it once in our practice thing, and I feel upset because I was like, <laughs> oh, that was the one time I always managed it. But you have to, like, really pull into that thing to get there. Or if you want, you can go back with the magnet beam, but whatever. And now we get to see everybody's favorite enemies, the big eyes. These are annoying little bastards because they do those... Hey, I finally got over it. Just gotta get lucky when you go when you actually go for it, you decided to jump high. Yeah. Because they jump around. Oh, oh heavens. Crap. I accidentally respawned him, get through the door! Okay, this this game and Mega Man games in general are... They have what I like to call... I refer to as Mega Man respawning enemies. Yeah. Which is when an enemy will respawn at the instant it enters that per uh, specific part of the screen. Even if you just pull back like a little bit and then go back on again. Like the tiniest bit of you getting off, getting it off screen and then going back and it respawns right away. And... That's a massive pain in the butt, because like, hey, a new enemy shows up. If you back up even a little to deal with that enemy, when you move forward again, you get to deal with him again. Pain in the butt. Kinda like this. Yeah, pretty much exactly like that. These are actually pretty good in some levels to farm up life if you need it, but I was pretty good. So I was just doing that to get your explanation out of the yeah. way. And we arrive at our first Robot Master. Second Robot Master. Second Robot Master. Gutsman. A bulldozing character capable of lifting and transporting huge boulders. Boulders. Hey, how you doing? You seem like a nice... Holy crap, you're huge! Oh, yeah. Holy crap. Man, you're heavy. Do you have a weight bar? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no, we miss. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, Does it do that if you Does he stop you if you're in the air? Nope. Okay, you, well that's nice. You can jump, but the moment you hit the ground again, you mm. uh, and it goes on. It's shaking long enough that that would be really hard to avoid. If he jumps straight up, he's going to do the boulder thing. Man, I wish I had energy tanks, but they're not in this game. I think he's got me trapped. Oh, yeah, crap. he's only got like one hit left though. Yeah, yeah! right onto it. Suck it, let's suck it, let's suck it, suck it, suck it. Mega Man, Mega Man, and Mega Jump. Ah, yeah! Talk to the hand. Sticking your hand out like you're just gonna shove it in somebody's face. With the hyper bomb. And with that, we get Gutsman's weapon. And 90,000 points. And 90,000 points. Gutsman's weapon is just called Super Arm. That's it. It's not called Guts Arm, it's called Super Arm. All right. And we'll deal with that boss's uh, we'll deal with the boss who's weak to that next time. Until then, everyone. Spoilers, it rhymes with Guts, man.